You belong in Slytherin! I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique <coughs> situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. <coughs> A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what oh. happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but... I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. You can always trust a Slytherin to lie. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. The Accio charm. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Excellent control there. That's it! Very good! Very 
Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. This up. Watch this. Phew. Quite impressive. Let us see this. There we go. Don't lose your composure. Yep, Tiny sucks at this too. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Misha. That is how it's done. Happens to the best of us. Here we go. Yes. That's it. Let us see this. There we go. Keep trying. The shame of it all, Tiny. Very good, both of you. Well done. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Well, Tiny's a genius, then. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Tai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. We're skipping class and going to town. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think
think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Forbidden? Off limits? You know we're going there. Welcome to Hogsmeade. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy <coughs> Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. What? Of course, it is not what? without complexity, <coughs> but that. Merlin's beard, old man. Get it together. That is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. <coughs> you might do. <coughs> Take another yeah. toke, Potter. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish <coughs> it. Oh dear. <laughs> well, 
Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. <coughs> what do you think? Extraordinary. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. How is standing? Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> when I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. <coughs> Since it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Anrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. <coughs> Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. 
single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, oh timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Oh, she's a sassy one. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Ah, go boil your heads, both of you. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. He's just trying to get in your robes. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. <coughs> I'll be back here if you find anything. New spell. Incendio! Ah, I believe we have- I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Incendio! Whoa, good job lighting that table on fire. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Leviosa. Incendio. Okay, okay. 
getting better.